Hey, CBC meteorologist Ryan Snodden here with you as well. We have CBC meteorologist Jay Scotland hey guys. in PEI and CBC meteorologist Tina Simpkin is with us as well. And we are tracking yeah, this messy old winter mix that's already on underway. And uh, I'll show you the latest satellite and radar picture, this or the radar and temperature picture that is. And you can see that messy mix of pink as of 1245 to one o'clock starting to work up into the Halifax region through the valley and starting to work its way into the eastern shore region as well. That snow still over northern Nova Scotia. Uh, the snow starting to fall in PEI as well as New Brunswick. It's really coming down now over southern parts of New Brunswick. So we're going to kind of break this down. First, we're going to show you the uh, expected totals map from Sunday into Monday. Tina, why don't you uh, kind of break down some of the highlights that we're going to be seeing from this storm? Yes, yeah, certainly. Along the coast, along the Fundy Coast, not only are we going to be seeing that mix, but we also had the potential for some freezing rain uh, and certainly some ice pellets will be falling in the meantime. Uh, to the north, across northern New Brunswick, and we're talking about north of Fredericton on up towards Edmonston, over towards Bathurst, Campbellton, Dalhousie, all in the mix for, say, 30 to perhaps up to 60 centimeters of snow. I think on average about 30 to 40, but we will be seeing some pockets a little bit higher than that. That rain snow line will be hugging Frederick so what falls today, about 20 to 30 centimeters worth of snow. On top of that, Fredericton over towards Miramichi on southward into Moncton that will be making that changeover late this afternoon and into this evening, more towards the evening hours when we will see some ice pellets and freezing rain. Along the Fundy Coast, not only do we have to deal with the freezing rain potential and then finally over to rain, but temperatures are going to be above the freezing point, but the winds along the coast will be gusting 80 kilometers per hour as we go into the overnight hours and finally into our Monday. Perfect. And yeah, obviously a, a mostly rain event here eventually for, uh, for Nova Scotia, but uh, Jay, why don't you break down the PEI? Yeah, for PEI, we're going to see, I don't want to say a little bit of everything. That's the cliche term. It looks to be a lot of everything that is going to be falling. Uh, right now, we are looking at uh, light to moderate snow and blowing snow visibility as the time we're recording this uh, just before one o'clock uh, is already down uh, under a kilometer. About 800 meters is where that visibility currently sits. And that will continue to deteriorate uh, this afternoon. The heaviest of that snow has yet to arrive. And then as we look to late this afternoon, we'll start to see that warm air building in, but still cold at the surface. And that is going to result result in uh, that risk of freezing rain, ice pellets mixing in for good measure as well. Uh, we are looking at, uh, for snowfall amounts, generally 10 to 20 centimeters of snow for most of PEI. We may see amounts 20, 25, uh, maybe a bit of a struggle with the mixing to see 30, but there is that potential over western Prince County. And you may see less snow because of an earlier switch over to rain over eastern Kings County, where anywhere from 5 to 15 centimeters is possible. And across the island, we could see anywhere from 20 to over 40 millimeters of rain falling uh, in addition to that snow, with temperatures soaring this evening. That'll lead to snow melting, that rain falling, localized flooding, flooded basements will be the big concern tonight, and outages as we have that risk for icy precipitation and heavy snow, followed by strong winds. And those winds out of the south uh, this evening to shortly after midnight will be gusting over 90 kilometers per hour, even higher and for more exposed coastal areas that could result in some outages and keep in mind tomorrow temperatures will be falling so what's left falling from the sky the showers will change back to flurries another quick shot of icy precipitation and then all of that standing water could start to freeze up resulting in ice patches uh, through uh, monday as well so that's something else to keep in mind for sure and we're going to show the timeline uh, across the maritimes in just a second but we should obviously show Environment Canada's warnings as well. We have rainfall warnings in effect for Nova Scotia, uh, 30 to as much as 60, even not out of the question, as you guys know, we've been looking at the forecast model data here. We could see some localized amounts here over 60 millimeters, approaching 70, 80 locally, especially for uh, areas along the South Shore into the Halifax region. It's not out of the question as well. The Fundy Coast is under a rainfall warning as well as a winter storm warning. So you don't often see that but that just gives a little sample of uh, it's, how messy it's going to be along that Fundy Coast. We also have wind warnings in effect. We'll show you our projected gusts in just a second. Lace wet warnings are in effect. One of the, the most questionable things in terms of those warnings, there's no freezing rain warnings in effect as of the recording of this, but uh, Tina and Jay, we've been looking at this. Mm -hmm. One of the things that's you know the, uh, the most uh, uh, difficult in terms of forecasting is where we're going to see that freezing rain risk set up. So we're looking at uh, what I'm showing the viewers right now is is the three different kind of forecast models, the Canadian model, uh, as well as then the American forecast model. 
And then finally, the European forecast model, which is certainly the heaviest on the amounts. But in terms of all three different models, you know, generally in that St. John to Fredericton region, but uh, in terms of where that heaviest band is going to set up. But Tina, that band is likely going to be really, really narrow, isn't it? Absolutely. And you have to understand, too, that the winter storm warnings that are in effect for New Brunswick encompass that. They encompass the wind, the freezing rain, as well as the snowfall, which is going to be humongous across central and northern New Brunswick. Um, that line of freezing rain, as you said, Ryan, is going to set up somewhere between St. John and Fredericton. And it will stretch all the way over towards Moncton, up towards Miramichi, and there could be prolonged periods of freezing rain that will persist. And of course, a little bit of freezing rain is never a good thing. Um, elsewhere where it's not freezing rain and it's just rain, as Jay was just describing earlier, the ground is cold. So whatever hits it as rain is going to freeze on contact with the ground. That's going to cause for some slick spots on areas of roadways and sidewalks that are untreated. So it's going to be slippery. Uh, and then tomorrow, as Jay was also talking about, is the cold coming back. And uh, that's when, again, another reinforcing shot of cold air will make things even more slick. For sure. And, uh Ryan, just to, to, to bring that risk of freezing rain over to PEI as well, because I know folks here have been asking me a lot about it. I do see the potential, uh, certainly over western areas of the island. We're talking about that freezing rain risk uh, cutting across a very narrow band, and where it parks is still uh, undetermined. But there is the potential we could be on the periphery of that, uh, certainly over parts of PEI. I see anywhere from a trace amount over eastern sections of the island to as much as 15 to 20 millimeters possible over extreme western parts of the island. Don't put too much certainty on those exact amounts, Joe. Just know that uh, there is the risk of freezing rain both this evening and a less of a chance, but still there as well uh, in the uh, Monday morning hours as well. Uh, it's just western areas of PEI have the highest risk of, uh, of significant, significant freezing rain, which obviously would lead to slicker conditions and more outages as well. So that risk is certainly there as well. For sure. So I'm just running through that timeline uh, for the viewers to, sh to see. Basically, we've got I'll back it up again so I can kind of walk us through. Note that messy mix rolling up through Nova Scotia. Then that ice and freezing rain risk really over southeastern parts of New Brunswick through the Sunday evening and western PEI as well. Sunday evening and overnight time period. And note the heavy rain coming down. And as Jay and Tina both alluded to, the ground is frozen right now. So this rain is just going to hit the ground as though it's concrete and run. No soaking up here at all. So... There's going to be a lot of standing pooling water. And the biggest issue is you watch your timeline here. And as you move into the Monday morning time period, note those double digit temps early on in the day over uh, eastern parts of Nova Scotia. Yet it's minus double digits over New Brunswick. And so something's got to give here. The cold air wins out the day. And as we roll throughout the day on Monday, the biggest concern is going to be the winds shifting back to north. Uh, to westerly and even northwesterly uh, and so what we're going to be seeing is then that drop in temperatures as we roll throughout the day and things becoming a real icy mess unfortunately just in time uh, for the drive home on Monday here across Nova Scotia so uh, kind of concerned about that the other thing we just quickly should mention guys is I guess the winds uh, coupled with the snow over New Brunswick and PEI and then coupled with the ice over PEI in New Brunswick, and coupled with the, even the rain here across Nova Scotia, the, the risk is certainly of some power outages because we have all this messy mix precipitation and then the winds. Note those gusts uh, in the 80 to 100 kilometer per hour range through tonight. And then as we move into the Monday morning time period, again, winds will ease, but note those uh, that shift to west and northwest winds that will be funneling in uh, that uh, that really, really cold air and those those that drop in temperatures as we move uh, through the day on Monday. I'll go back to the uh, precip map one last time for you to folks to have a look. Uh, and Jay and Tina, if, I don't know if there's anything that you guys wanted to mention that I missed. No, I just when you're looking at that uh, precipitation map for all three maritime provinces, you're seeing a generally 10 to 20 for most of PEI. Again, Easter section's a little bit less, and you do have that potential, as you're seeing on the map there, for uh, potentially more where the cooler air persists over western PEI. But I think bulk of the snowfall that's going to fall into uh, New Brunswick, as, uh, as Tina was saying, where those amounts locally could be very, very high. I think folks will be uh, certainly digging out there. All right. Well, we're uh, coming up on 10 minutes of this uh, being uploaded, so uh, uh, 10 minutes long. So we don't want to make it too long or it'll take forever to upload. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll upload this to all of our Facebook pages and uh, feel free to ask us questions uh, and we'll get to as many as we can throughout the afternoon. 
uh, I guess the biggest theme is uh, stay inside, stay safe, and uh, watch your step tomorrow when all of this mess uh, freezes up. And lots of coffee for, uh, <laughs> for dealing with this. That's right. I'm with you. Lots of coffee. Yes. All right. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Jay and Tina. And uh, thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, stay safe out there.